everything successful I've achieved has been thanks to other people. I'm not saying this to sound humble or to try and devalue anything I've done that may be considered an accomplishment, but because I truly believe that it's so important, if not the most important thing, to surround yourself with the right people. I first really understood this when I took a gap year between high school and college. So I started the gap year by working for a few weeks in the kitchen of a Buddhist meditation center. Okay, forget being social. I just wanted to be by myself for a while in nature on my own. That's where I first got interested in food and agriculture and how the food system works and started researching it, looking into it for fun, trying to learn everything I could about it. Um, and then that's what really set me on that path. Uh, after that, I worked at an early stage startup for a while. But when I say startup, I mean, it was me and five coding engineering bros living in someone's apartment. I was sleeping on the couch, just trying to get something off the ground. Okay, it was really uh, very, that was my first startup experience. Um, so what I got from that was that I loved being around the founder. He was just so energetic, so driven, so focused, so determined, so crazy. I loved it. He, I mean, founders, I realized, are a whole other breed of person. So I decided that, okay, when I go to Yale, I want to surround myself with as many people like him as possible. So that's how I got involved in entrepreneurship. And I have loved meeting everyone and anyone related to startups and founders and spending time with them. And, and it has benefited me hugely. Um, basically, what I do is I find people that I admire and I force them to be my friend. <laughs> and to make them like you, I, um, I just act as if they already like me. So I approach them as if we're, we're best friends. Like, yo, we grew up together. You know, it just <laughs> automatically puts, a, it sets a tone for a really healthy, fun, um, strong relationship. Um, so the main thing that I had to learn when I was meeting all of these new people and figuring out who I really wanted to spend time with was to be proactive. And when I say proactive, I don't just mean take the initiative, ask them first. I mean, I know that's, uh, can, can be scary, but, uh, I acted with a complete lack of shame. I, <laughs> And I do this in all parts of my life, not just when I'm meeting people, but think, think about this, okay? What's the worst that could happen? You ask someone to get dinner and they say no, okay, and big deal, they're lost, <laughs> moving on. Um, basically, I was, I was very proactive in the sense that I would ask people to dinner, I would um, main uh, catch up with them, uh, say, hey, we haven't spoken in a while, haven't heard from you, like, how have you been, what have you been up to? I would put a lot of effort into making the first move and really maintaining those relationships and actually trying to build something of value between the two of us. So this is how I approached it. Um, now, what kind of people do I look for? One, I want people that are crazy. If you're talking to someone and you think, wait, wait a second, what did you just say? Did you, did I hear that correctly? <laughs> like, are you joking? That's, that's a really good, good sign. That's a key person right there. Uh, so because this is so important because if you then become friends with people like this, and you start hanging out with them and spending a lot of time with them, the things that they do stop seeming as crazy. And you start to get used to them doing things that you would never have dreamed of doing. And through osmosis, you're basically just um, experiencing this, this type of environment. And uh, this is why I always try and be a sponge. 
So I try and optimize my learning by learning as much as I can, as fast as I can, in the best way that I can. And for me, that is hanging out with the right people. Because then even if you're having dinner with someone that um, you think is doing something cool or building a cool project, and it's just chill, it's downtime, it's not you know, networking or whatever, um, that's still, you're being a sponge. You're, you're surrounding yourself with that type of mindset, that type of, of vibe. And then as you start getting accustomed to this, this way of looking at the world, you, you start to do things that you might have thought were crazy, that a past you would never have done. And so that's the first key thing. They have to be crazy. Second key thing, I love it when someone makes me feel dumb. When I talk to someone and I go away from that conversation and I'm just, wow, I had no idea what he was saying half the time, or uh, she referenced a, a type of a part of history that I had no idea about, or it, it doesn't matter what it is, but I always try and be the dumbest person in the room. And I learned this when I was playing volleyball. I played really intensely through all of high school. And as I started going up the ranks, um, joining much higher level clubs, I um, basically stopped being the top player. Uh, and then eventually I became the worst player on the team. And I loved that because everyone around me was so good, so talented. Whenever I was on the court, I was watching them play, un understanding their moves, learning from them, asking them questions, ask so many questions, by the way, always ask questions. That's the other thing. Doesn't matter if they're dumb, no shame, remember, no shame. Um, and then this brings me to my next point of, I learn the most from people that are only a few steps ahead of me. So these people will know exactly what problems you're going through. They will know what advice to give you. They, their advice will be more relevant than, for example, someone that is an expert in the field and um, you know, already seems like they have everything figured out. They will also be more willing to help because they know exactly what, they're go what you're going through and they know it's hard and they wanna help. Um, so this is, is really important because also this means that Yes, they are ahead of you, but they're not far ahead. So they're still on the journey. So you are developing a relationship with them as you guys go through the journey. Um, and basically, you, you actually start to work together. You start to um, get advice from them and, and talk to them about what you're building more often. And, and that way, you become, they, they can become a mentor to you. But I don't really like the word mentor. I just say friend. Um, and this, this type of approach has led to something that I am so grateful to be a part of. It's a group chat that I have with a bunch of other builders uh, at Yale. And these people, they live to build. I mean, they just, you know, they love creating new things. And, and when I'm around them, the energy is just so good. Um, so this group chat, we share resources and information and articles and podcasts and cool things that we see that uh, are about startups and building and hacks and, and entrepreneurship and, and that sort of thing. And it's just great, high quality, high value content. And uh, it's so, it's great. I really like it. Um, something though that I am struggling with now is going deeper with these relationships. So you can either go deep or you can go wide. If you go deep, you have a few key people that you would go to war for, that would go to war for you. If you go wide, you know a lot of different people. Um, they're sl slightly superficial relationships and they're, you know, you can ask them for a favor, but not for a big one. Uh, so my initial response after doing all these things and meeting all these people was if I had a problem to reach out to someone new. Um, but now I'm realizing, oh wait, 
I actually probably know someone that's already in my group of friends that could help me with this. Uh, so now I have to train myself to actually just really focus on developing those relationships even further. Uh, so one, one thing that I adopted from someone in my circle that just graduated from Yale, he's, um, I admire him a lot, is he coined this term that I now, is basically my philosophy of life. Bangers only. Okay, and this is actually also the name of our group chat. Um, so what do I mean by this? First of all, it refers to songs. So I, anyone that knows me knows that I only listen to bangers. I don't really listen to chill music. I don't listen to sad music. I don't listen to like low key vibes. Nah, I just listen to party, high energy, strong beat go 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 music to the point where literally my alarm in the morning is a daddy yankee song that just starts out basically blaring and i used to live in spain i love reggaeton latino urbano all that type of music so i start the day and i'm already whoa like i am high energy i am so ready for today i'm so excited let's yes uh, it's gonna be such such a good time just like whoa uh, basically, this applies to music and this applies to people as well. So is this person a banger? It's either a yes or no. If it's a no, move on. Don't spend any more time on them, with them, whatever. Just forget it. Um, it basically, if it's not a heck yes, it's a heck no. You know, there's got to be some chemistry. There's got to be... Um, they have to be interesting to talk to and you could talk to them for a long time. And if, if at any point you're bored in your conversation, red flag, red flag, run away, turn around and run. Uh, just <laughs> not worth it at all. Because the people that I choose to spend my time with, uh, when I'm talking to them, we're building off of each other's ideas. We're uh, giving each other advice. We're coming up with new things. We're bouncing off you know it's just the energy is so good so so good uh and this is a part where you have to remember that a sponge doesn't just take things in so yes it absorbs water or in my case information so but this is so that it can make everything around it cleaner or better so Basically, you don't want to be doing this from a completely selfish perspective because, yes, it's super fun and uh, you're going to have a great time doing it and you're going to meet a lot of cool people. But ultimately, I have the goal of bettering myself in order to better the world and to better others. So I, I hope you share that goal. No, no judgment if you don't, but that's a good goal to have, in my opinion. So basically, if you come away from this, this talk only remembering one thing, I hope it's this. And this is a phrase that I also am stealing from uh, Clark, the former president of YES. Find the people that you admire, that represent where you want to be in your wildest dreams, of where you maybe see yourself in the future and attach yourself to them. Thank you.